It was market day, and Roy and Martin had been busy choosing the fattest lambs to sell at the market for hours. That's it. We're ready now, said Roy. He marked the lambs with red paint so that he would recognize them if they got lost in the market. He looked at his watch. The trailer was late. He shook his head impatiently. There was no time to waste. At that very moment, the trailer came driving up the road. It honked its horn, beep beep, and flashed its lights at Roy so that he would know they had arrived. Stay back now, Tech, said Roy, as he signaled to the driver to reverse towards the sheep pen. While the big trailer was reversing, Tech stood far away because trailers and drivers can't see little children or little tractors when they are moving. Whoa, shouted Roy, holding his hand up. When the trailer was close enough to the pen, the driver turned off the engine. Hello, said Roy to the driver. How are you, said the driver. He opened the big door behind the trailer. Then he opened the trailer's tailgate. And after making sure that everything was safe, Roy and Martin began loading the trailer. The lambs climbed in, and then the driver shut the gate behind them. Roy called to the driver, come in for a cup of tea. Oh, thank you very much, said the driver, and off they went to the house. Tech saw his chance and sneaked into the trailer to have a look. He'd never been in one before. Hello, everyone, he said to the lambs. Hello, Tech, said the lambs. The very next minute, the big gates closed behind him. Hey, hold on, wait a minute, Roy, he called out. But the big trailer door had closed, and no one could hear or see him in the trailer. Galloping gaskets, what'll I do now, thought Tech. He tried to toot his horn, but no sound came out. Beep, beep, galloping gaskets, beep. He was so excited that he didn't know what to do. Roy, I'm in here. Open the gate. But it was too late. The trailer was on the move, and Tech saw Roy wave goodbye to the driver. Beep, beep, Roy. Tech tooted his horn, but Roy could not hear him. The trailer was already making its way down the street from the family farm and onto the road, which led to the market. Galloping gaskets. What do I do now, thought Tech. Well, I'd better go and wash and change, said Roy. And then he asked Martin, Where's Tech gone? He was here just a minute ago. Oh, well, I suppose he's gone to talk to Tom or Daniel or something, thought Roy as he made his way over to the house. Roy! Roy! Help! When Roy came out of the house, he was clean and tidy and ready to go to the market. Roy drove carefully down the street from the family farm. Is the market far away? Tech asked the lambs. I don't know, said one of them. Neither do I, said another. Galloping gaskets, I've really done it this time. Roy will be furious. 
said Tech nervously. Then, at last, Tech saw the market. After the trailer backed up to the pens, the driver switched off the engine and opened the gates. And what a shock he had when he saw the little red tractor in the back of his trailer. Tech, what are you doing here? he asked in astonishment. Tech looked around and all he could see were strange faces. He didn't know anyone and everyone seemed to be wearing rain jackets, heavy boots and caps. Galloping gaskets! The market was one big maze and he didn't know which way to turn. He looked to his right and he looked to his left. But before he had time to think too hard, he saw a bunch of big boots walking towards him. Working boots, squeaked Tech in horror, and he quickly drove to the right before they trampled him. When Tech paused to catch his breath, he had absolutely no idea where he was or where the lambs were. But Tech cheered up at the thought that Roy had surely arrived by now, so Tech went to find him. But where would he be? Tech saw some farmers leaning on a gate. Excuse me, have you seen Roy? Asked Tech. Nope, said the farmer. So Tech continued on his way, looking for Roy. A lot of farmers seem to be going through a gate. Roy must be in there too, thought Tech. He followed the farmers in that direction. Tech heard a lot of shouting noise. Indeed, that's where all the farmers were. Some were sitting and others were standing, but they were all listening closely to the auctioneer who was talking very quickly from behind his high desk. He was selling the animals in the ring, but who was buying them? Him or him or perhaps him? No, it's him. Well, this is an interesting place, thought Tech. But he couldn't see Roy anywhere. He wasn't by the ring. He wasn't standing at the door. And he wasn't sitting on the benches. Where on earth could he be? But who did he see at that very moment? It was Roy! Roy! shouted Tech. But Roy couldn't hear him because he was all the way on the other side of the ring. Tech wanted to sound his horn, but he didn't want to frighten all the animals in the ring. What to do? When the auctioneer banged his gavel on his desk, someone else opened the gate. Tech took a chance and snuck into the ring. He wanted to get to the other side and did. Roy couldn't believe his eyes. Tech was there. Tech? Tech in the ring? But it couldn't be. Tech was back home at the family farm. How on earth? Well, what else have we got to sell in the ring today? A tractor! But we're selling animals today, aren't we? Asked the auctioneer in a surprised voice. Never mind, I'm ready to sell anything, and if there's a tractor in the ring, then I'll sell the tractor. Does anyone want to buy this pretty little red tractor? Asked the auctioneer. Buy? Tech was startled. But I'm not for sale. Roy, tell him, please! Begged Tech. But the auctioneer had already started the bidding. 
Five dollars, five dollars. Come on now, pretty little red tractor. Come on now, fifteen dollars, fifteen, twenty dollars. Come on now, well done. Sold to Mr. Roy Morgan. Roy, oh, thank goodness, said Tech. I was afraid that someone else would buy me. But the farmers laughed. They were only teasing him. And one of the farmers opened the gate so that Tech could get out. Can we go home now, Roy? asked Tech. Of course we can, Tech, said Roy, leading him past all the animals in the market. But how do I get home? asked Tech. Don't worry. You can come back with me in the pickup, laughed Roy. Home we go, said Tech happily. Hey, everyone, we're home. Beep, beep, tooted Tech excitedly. After his adventure in the trailer and at the market, Tech was very happy to see the family farm sign. He was home again. Thank you.